You got this, starfish. Mm. Is everything okay? Nerves. Round the rock, the rugged rascal ran. The rugged rascal ran. Ran. R ran. Oh, I'm good. Thanks. My dear, um, just a little word of advice. You mustn't be so nervous. They, they will never take you seriously. Shit. You can tell? Just a little. Hi. Mia Winthrop? Yes. Uh, I assume you need my um, headshot and resume. <laughs> oh, we're fine, actually. Oh, um, great. <sighs> Alan, darling. Mia! Oh, my God. <laughs> it's been years. I know. I'm How are you? I am great. But truly, I am fantastic. And I said to myself, you know, it is time to reemerge and, well, just give it a go. Get back good on the for horses, you. as they say. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's, uh, it's, it's, I'm really glad that you're still you know, doing this. Just doing it. <laughs> um, you know, the industry always needs uh, the more experienced Experience, actresses. Yeah, yeah like you. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, um, let's get you reading. Sure, sure. Um, I will be reading for the young college student, female, page two. Let's have you read for the restaurant owner. Uh, uh, um, the, the grandmother? Mm hmm. Well, Alan, she's, she's old. <laughs> well, she's mature. Old? No, no, she's mature. She's, uh, she's you know, seen it all. She's a little rough around the edges. She's a little weathered. You know, you're perfect That's okay. Fit. Yes, you yes, really yes, yes. Are. I got it. No, old, mature. Can we get to the sides? Thank you. Well, okay now. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you. Yeah, it's uh, great to be back. Good, huh? Rachel Walker. <laughs> Rachel, hi, how was your day? Fantastic. Hi. It's actually my father's birthday today. Oh, how exciting. Mm. Happy birthday, Dad. Yeah. Um, he would have been 60 today. But. I see. Mm. Um, well, you know, maybe you can channel some of that. For the role? Absolutely. Josh Reynolds. Yes, hi. Ready to go. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Oh. Hi. Oh. Hi. Oh. Ah. Thank you so much for this opportunity, Mr. Sternling. Um, it's, uh, it's Sterling. What was that? Sterling, no end. Oh my God, I'm, I'm so sorry. That's just... no, it's okay. It's all right, all right. Okay. It's okay. I started to uh, do me a um, favor. Do me a favor. Yes, sir. Stand still. 
uh, oh, okay, let's do the monologue. Um, and it's a, you know, a elated discovery and, and confident disposition. And go. Well, if it's uh, as any good as your Snuggie commercial, then I'm sure it's in the bag. Oh, you've seen that? Mm -hmm. Oh, how sweet. <laughs> when did they let you out of the senior center? Oh, that's cute. That's really cute. Okay, so if you three can hold here a couple of minutes, we just have to discuss a few things. I nailed it, you guys. Whipped you too. Well, I find his excitement rather refreshing. Now, Joel. It's Josh. Whatever, sweetheart. I don't really know why you're auditioning today. There doesn't seem to be a male role in this piece. Oh, well, what do you consider male? Excuse me? Get with the times, Grant. Well, gender is a spectrum, <laughs> it's how I feel. So today I woke up and felt like auditioning for the female role, so here I am, female role. Doesn't that get a little confusing at all? Not at all. In fact, I had an award-winning turn as Elizabeth Proctor in my town's all-male production of The Crucible. And what hole-in-the-wall theater was this? Creative Critters Playhouse. In Bucksnort, Tennessee. Of course. I haven't been here long, but, uh... I've always dreamt of seeing my name lit up on the marquee. Fascinating. Is it? What about you? What's your story? Oh, well, I've been in the business for some time now, as I'm sure you are aware. I've had some success. Oh, oh no, sure. you're crowd. He's like 12. She was on Broadway. Oh, well, my God, really? Well, you know, I, I may have won a Tony years back, but, you know. In the Mesozoic era. Me and my mom used to watch the Tonys all the time when I was younger. Oh, what show did you win it for? Oh, I'm sure you remember. Pilates the Musical. Doesn't ring a bell. Oh yes, I won for Best Lead Actress. In fact, I, I beat out the, the, the predicted winner, Jane Fonda, in Jazzercise the Musical. Get under that. As you can see, Josh, the cream rises to the top. That must have been the most amazing moment of your life. Oh, it was. The peak. <laughs> what about you? What's your story? What's my story? Oh, it's really exciting. It's about a 31-year-old who wakes up with nothing to claim in life other than some outstanding student debt and a resume that reads, coffee shop patron at least four times. Well, it only gets worse from here, babe. That's terrifying. Yeah, well, can't stop, won't stop. At least that's what the hopeless voice inside your head keeps trying to nail into you. Yeah, well, um, pills help. Would you like one? Oh, this is just like... A nightmare? No, no. <laughs> La La Land. Ugh. White America. <gasps> Oh my god, oh my god, I love that movie. Oh, of course you do. It has everything and more. It's about two people falling in love in the big city. But they've always been programmed to put their career first. Oh my god, they're about, it's our dreams. And it's about finding your true inner self. It's, it's about our values and our goals. And happiness. I'm happy, <laughs> but I can't really speak too much for your well-being, sweetheart. Ugh. Listen, Josh, you're a sweet kid. But sooner or later, a plague is going to hit your household and you're going to be a bitter bitch like the rest of no, us. I doubt that. Because I just wake up every morning and do my very best. You know, my acting teacher told me that I reminded him of Meryl Streep. Do I really look that old? 
There it is. Well, I mean, before you said I look like something out of a senior home, I mean, <laughs> you can't be serious. Well, why do you care? At least you have a career. Have. I have a career. I sense you two know each other. Mm. Fucking Miss Cleo over here. I don't know this girl, but the girl that I did know used to be so loving and caring and could do anything that she set her mind to. Oh, well, there's no going back to that, is there? Not when your life is this fucked. Why don't you just give up, then, if it's so goddamn hard? Oh, you would really like that, wouldn't you? And then you wouldn't have to worry about the competition. Uh, what competition? Please. I have been a threat to you ever since my father introduced me. Oh, my God, you. Have you. I was you married know. to the man forever. And you don't hear me speak about that every five minutes. I never loved you. No, you didn't. Hey, I'm going to go to the bathroom. Oh, no, 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 no. Please stay, Josh. Please stay. And then witness how someone treats their parents after everything they did for them. You are not my mother. Just because I was your stepmom does not mean that I did not dedicate my whole entire life to you and your father. You haven't done shit for me or dad. All you ever did was worry about yourself and your failing career. Oh, really? <laughs> well, Miss Pris, I'll have you know, I had a huge, huge career before and after I met your father. Oh, really? <laughs> Just look at yourself. You're a fucking mess. You can't even handle me being here. Don't be ridiculous. Hundred bucks. You tried to read for my role. Hmm? Well, it's anyone's role. Just ask Josh. Oh. Oh, well, I mean, it could be, but... Shut it. Just face it. You're done. I am not. Yes, you are. No, I am not done. You are. You can't even function without a drink anymore. <laughs> Nerves, really? It's bullshit. You're hungover. You were nervous too. Shut up. I am not hungover and I am mm. not nervous and I have you know, I have just begun to destroy you, you ungrateful little shit. Unbelievable. Rachel, Mr. Sterling would like you to read again. Yes, absolutely. I'd love to. Mia, Josh, thank you so much, but we've seen everything that we need. You are good to go. Rachel, wait. <laughs> We're too late. Fuck you. No, Ra Rachel. Rachel, Rachel, wait. Ra Rachel, wait! <sighs> Bitch. Well, it's been so much fun. Uh, yeah. Hope to see you around the audition circuit again. You break a leg. Yeah, you too. Break your neck. So, uh, really, really great work earlier. <laughs> Thank you. All right, mm. so we're going to do the whole thing again. And this time, don't be afraid to just really do, go for it, OK? Sure, OK. All right, OK. OK. Uh, ready whenever you are. Sometimes, I don't know how to get through my day. It's like a haunting memory that won't go away, like a loved one who is no longer around, but you swear you can still hear them. Or when someone tells you that you're too old for this and it's time to hand it over to some fresh-faced newbie. All your success, all that you've ever done, locked away in, in some time capsule that no one appreciates anymore. So it's time to look into the future. It's all we have and it's whatever you want it to be. The future isn't painful, it's bright. And in the darkest of times, it serves as a guiding light. Like hope. The future is full of hope. And even after it's hardened, no matter how beautiful or ugly it is, it can never change. Hope is everything. And it's why I choose to use Prepatol for my anal warts. Actually, can you give a uh, warmer feeling when you say Prepatol? Warmer? Warmer. 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 Sure. That's why I choose to use Prepatol for my anal warts. Is that good? Uh, perfect. Uh, we'll let you know. OK. Thank you. Bye, Rachel. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Thanks. 
okay, that was a failure. We can't use that. We cannot use her at all. <laughs>